Yo, this is B-Boy Remedy coming at you with tutorials, alright? We're doing this on the carpet because to show you, you break on the carpet. You know, this is where it started. Every kid just dancing on this carpet doing his thing. Right here. But uh, we're going to go over a few, a few basics for you. Um, how to hit freezes, exercise to get better at them. So here you go. Uh, let's go ahead and start with elbow freezes. What's good, people? So we're going to work on basic freeze exercises. This is a good thing to do when you're just chilling at your house in your living room, you know, have the TV on. Just practice some exercises on your basic freezes. For example, if you want to learn elbow freezes, you got to get comfortable with being on your elbow. So you should practice what? Elbow stands, right? So here's, here's my basic way of just how I started practicing elbow stands. You put your hand down like this, just right in front of you. You put your other hand parallel to your elbow, not to your hand. It's got to be like right over here. You want to get a look at this, Sean? Yes. See how it lines up my elbow, my hand? That's how I get my balance. I'm gonna, at first, you're gonna look like this. And that's okay because you just gotta find that sweet spot in your body where you're just gonna find that balance. And that'll come with time. So it's okay to do that. But this is where you wanna get to going. You wanna be able to hold these freezes like this. Maybe do a little bit of different variations with your legs. Just, just practice that freeze. And Remedy, is it... Is it in your abs? What main... Yeah, you gotta do a lot of ab flexing, like, you know, all your strength and balance comes from your core, so you gotta really just tighten up, stiffen up, and then just find that spot. So it's okay to, it's okay to just push up and fall, push up and fall. You, you'll get it eventually. You don't need to have abs for it. It'll just, you know, I'm just letting you know it's within the core, so... You just practice some while you're just chilling at your house and just watch TV and doing nothing. That's the best way to do it. I mean... You're not doing anything, just practice a couple of basic freezes. One more time. Stand like this all day. It's all day. All day. The worst that can happen is you roll forward, but that's just going to turn into a tumble. So I'll show them a few variations again. Here's a couple of ways. You could get, you gotta get comfortable with both elbows so you want to be switching. So I'm over here now. Switch. Switch. If you want to get comfortable, go handstand, elbow. There's different variations of how balance you have to be and control your body. Okay, so last notes and pointers for the elbow freezes. Pointers, always Just remember make you sure. to be parallel, your hand and your elbow. Use your fingertips to grip the floor. Your fingertips work like your toes. They keep you straight up. They keep you balanced. Spread them out. Spread your hands and grip the floor with your fingers. Do you need an archer back? Not really. You could pike. If you want to pike, it's a little bit easier. Just like this. get comfortable with that. It's okay, it's okay to fall. Don't be afraid. Don't think you're never going to get it just because you fall. You'll get it eventually. I've seen many people do this. Good looking out. And that's Elbow Freezes from B-Boy Remedy. Out. Alright y'all, so this is your shoulder freezes. This is a little bit more complicated I think than the elbow freezes because this is an awkward angle to be standing on. So what I do is I freeze on my right arm. If you're left arm, then just do the exact opposite whatever I tell you to do. So rest your shoulder down along with your head. Put this arm out here, this is kind of for balance. I like to put my arm out at a 90 degree angle over here. And I just lift up. You're balanced only on the shoulder. My right leg is in front of me and my left leg is kind of holding back. So I have a little, 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 I don't know what you call this to hold it. It's, my, it's, where, it's how I get my balance with freezes. If you want to do that while you watch TV, I do that all the time. Just sit like this. You would fall like this first, maybe roll around. Eventually, you're going to find that spot. You're going to shake a little bit because you're not used to it. But eventually, you're just going to be able to go one-handed. And what leads to one-handed is control of your feet. You can do threads. You can pop up. You can do whatever you want. Just the reds. Woo! -hoo! You got to talk about the freezes, though. Remember, you got to start somewhere first. And before you can get those hardcore combos, you got to start with just a you know basic elbow freeze. Where you're going to you, go... You might be the one at practice that people see you're like just laying on your shoulder the whole time. And people are like, what's this guy doing? But they don't know you're getting ready to practice something else that comes after it. It's called foundation. Practice your basic, basic freezes first. Which leads to the cooler stuff. Cool. The cool thing is you could combo that with elbow freezes also. So when you get your elbow freezes down, it's pretty simple. Just kick, elbow, back down, back up, back down. Nice. A lot That's of why you practice your balance. It's control. And the thing is, you can't do one thing without the other. So, if you're not good with your elbow freezes, but you got your other freezes down, 
you still might not be able to combo it. So get your foundations, folks. That is elbow freezes for you. All right, this is what we call the crab freeze. Other people might call it different things, like cricket or turtle position or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. But here's the basic way to practice it that I thought was very helpful. It start off in kind of a push-up position with your legs open. And here's the crab part that's kind of hard that people mistake. You got to turn your wrist and your elbow has to be right in the middle of your stomach almost. Almost like right next to your belly button. That's where your elbow wants to be, you have to turn your wrist. You turn your wrist, you put it on the floor. You rest your stomach on top of the elbow and you use your other hand for support. Left hand for support, right now hand in the stomach. Now position. Next step is to really work on your core and lift up slowly and just lift your feet off the floor like this. Just hold this freeze for as long as you can. It's going to be hard on your wrist and it's going to hurt your stomach. You're going to feel uncomfortable, but your body will grow to you. You'll get stronger. Your wrist will get stronger. Your abs will get stronger. Just practice that freeze and it leads to a lot of things. And think about it. It's, it's a workout, so don't think like you're doing, you know, practice or anything and like that. You're practicing them, and working you out. Have them, you'll have control. You start off like this. You only have to start off like that anymore. Just go straight into it. Maybe lift up one-handed. Switch. Uh, see, show them some leg variations they can do, like crossing, crossing the legs. Leg crab freezes are basic with freezes too. You can put your head on the floor like this, which leads to turning your hips, pivoting, spinning your legs for different freezes. Maybe a chair freeze. These are all basic from right here. You can even do power moves out of it. The basics for a windmill is starting from over here. And one more time, foundation. Well, that's what we're emphasizing here, okay? These little crab poses lead to other things, and you can find a lot of things to combo out, and you'll be sick. So, one more time, Joe. A few more. A few more variations for him. A few more variations of that stuff. Feel the road. Just, just, they just need to see it. Just turtles. You get control of here. You switch it. You walk again. You switch it. Switch. It's just getting comfortable on both arms now. A lot of things you can do with that. If you just get the craft freeze, at least other things. So, B-Boy Remedy, we're out. See you next time. Enjoy.